This is problem number five from section 2.1. In this problem, they want us to find the slope intercept form for the line passing through negative three, three, and perpendicular to the line passing through negative three, one half, and negative two, two thirds. So perpendicular, remember perpendicular means we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna uh, take the negative reciprocal of the original line. So that's what the perpendicular means. Now the original line is going to go through this point and this point, right? So this is the original line. So because that's the original line, uh, I need to find its slope. I don't have to find the whole equation, just the slope, because all I need to write a perpendicular line is the, um, I should say, take negative reciprocal of slope of the original line. So I just need to take the slope that I find from the original line um, and use that, uh, use the negative reciprocal of that slope to find the perpendicular line. So let's go ahead and find the slope. I want to, we know we can use this equation, which is rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I just need to label these. This is x1, this is y1, this is x2, and this is y2. So y2 is gonna be 2 thirds. So we're gonna say 2 thirds minus uh, y1, which is 1 half, over x2, which is negative 2, minus x1, which is negative 3. So we have 2 thirds minus 1 half on top. Let's find a common denominator. We know the common denominator between 3 and 2 is going to be 6. So let's go and make that That'd be 4 sixths by multiplying the top and bottom by 2. Multiply the top and bottom by 3 here, and you get minus 3 sixths over negative 2 minus negative 3. Well, that becomes a positive, so that's negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. I subtract on top, I get 1 sixth over 1, which we know is just 1 sixth. So this is the slope of the original. So we're going to call that original slope. So for my new line, I need to use the negative reciprocal. So let's go ahead and say uh, negative reciprocal. Well, if I want to take the negative reciprocal of this, first of all, I need to take the reciprocal, which we know uh, 1 6 is really going to be 6 over 1. And I need to take the negative version of that, which gives you negative 6. So negative 6 is the negative reciprocal of this slope here. Once I have the negative reciprocal, remember I want the negative reciprocal slope, or I want this new line, I should say, the new, the new line that is you're going to use the negative 6 uh, which is the negative reciprocal slope. Um, I want that new perpendicular line to go through negative 3, 3. So the coordinate that I'm going to use is negative uh, 3, 3. Okay, so now I can use a point slope form to find this. So let's go ahead and pull out point slope form. I'm going to label this one x1 and y1. I have this negative uh, reciprocal slope, which is negative 6. So I'm going to say y minus y1, which is 3, equals, all right, this is our m, right? This is the slope, and I should maybe label that. That's m equals, and we'll call it the new m. So y minus 3 equals a negative 6. x minus negative 3. This becomes a positive, so I get y minus 3 equals a negative 6, x plus 3. Distribute here, and I get y minus 3 equals a negative 6, x minus 18. Add the 3 over, and I get y equals a negative 6, x plus, or minus 15. And I'm going to rewrite that so it looks better, y equals negative 6, x. Add the 3 over, I get minus 15. 
So this is the perpendicular line. So perpendicular line to that line. Although I didn't write a line here, this is the slope for that line, which is the only thing that we really needed to find the perpendicular line.